We're at, once again, still the Education Center, Madison Square location of the Manitoba Liquor Mart, and uh, it's our home away from home. Adriana Barros is now making, we've gone from the Philly cheese steak pizza uh -huh. to the skinny mini Fiesta burger, and now we're going to make uh, not just any ordinary taco. We're making a tropical pulled beef taco. Oh, mm -hmm. that sounds great and it smells good. Now, where do we start? Perfect. So this is really easy. We're making our um, pulled beef in a slow cooker. So really carefree. I'm using a boneless blade roast. The reason I chose this roast is because of the long muscle fibers and how lean it is. And it's really good for slow cooking methods. You can use a cross rib roast if you choose to as well. So what I'm gonna start off is with my marinade. It's a marinade paste. So I have here three garlic cloves that are minced, so quite a bit of garlic, mm -hmm. but that's Which always good. good. I have some tomato paste here, so that's gonna give a really good, um, robust tomato flavor. Again, always some salt and pepper. There it goes. There we go. And I'm using chili powder, so about a tablespoon of chili powder. And this just adds really smoky flavor. It also um, adds great color. So I'm going to give that a, a, a mush up. good mix, make a paste. And that's just going to be spooned right on top of my um, blade beef roast. So it's kind of a rub? It is pretty much like a rub, yeah. yeah. You would definitely rub this in with your hands. So I've actually at home, um, I've done the other three quarters of this roast just to speed things up so today. One side. So it's, we're just going to do one side mm -hmm. and I'm going to be searing it. So browning it in a oiled skillet. Which we're going to do here. Is that we're going right? to do right there, yeah. Now what's the purpose of searing? And often you'll do this with a roast or certainly uh, if you're putting something in a slow cooker. What's um, the advantage? The there? reason I like to um, sear before I put in a slow cooker is because it develops some really great complex beef flavors. So here we go. Oh. And we'll turn that up just a little that bit. That would make a nice sandwich, you know. That. Oh yeah, definitely. So by searing it, you're browning it and that um, also adds caramelization and great color and that's something you're gonna lose out on when you're doing a slow cooking method. So it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with holding in flavors? Well, it develops great beef flavors. You'll mm -hmm. definitely develop more flavors, more so than you would if you didn't. So I'll give that a good um, searing, and then that's going to be put into our slow cooker. So I'm just gonna slide that in, and here you can see the already um, seared part here. You see the caramelization, it's a little bit browned, and all of that adds flavor. Okay, so. I turn that off then? Please do. Right. So this is the simple part. So you have your roast in your slow cooker. I'm going to add um, half a cup of beef broth and half a cup of water. So that's our, our cooking liquid. And then a full can of tidbit pineapple. So that's our tropical flair there. Oh. Yeah, so this is fun and so simple. So there you go. Just going that's to it. seal that up and you can, um, ooh, you can forget about that for um, five hours if you're cooking on low, or if you're cooking on high, and about eight if you're cooking on low. Right. So gotcha. there you have it. So once our um, our pulled beef is cooked and that time is elapsed, when you come home from work and the kitchen's smelling great, um, you remove the the beef out of there and you're remaining with the cooking liquid. So you have our cooking juices there, and this is just in a stock pot and it's it was just simmering away. And I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to that. Oh, yeah, so it, yeah. this is going to make a great sauce. So I'll give that a good mix. All right. And then. So here we have our pulled beef. And I have it here in another slow cooker, just set on warm, just so that um, it's easy when you're entertaining to serve it in that dish, so people yeah. can just help themselves. So if you want to go ahead and um, pull the beef, pull the beef, go for it. So with two forks, all you do is basically just shred it like That's that. Right. Yeah. And it's really simple. So 
There you go, perfect. So once you're done with that, we can add it to our pot. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to pour some of our beef mixture, our, our barbecue sauce on there. Oh, and then we can go ahead and I'm just loving this make our, our tacos. Oh, you could do in that. There? Sure, I was gonna put it in bit, there, but that's, oh yeah, that's here. fine. So this is well basted, full flavor. Here you oh, go. Here, might as well put a nice chunk yeah, in so in I'm there. just gonna pour some in there. In fact, here I'm gonna put all that in there. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'll leave this part here. <laughs> for snacking. Here. Yeah. Perfect. So this is what you're left with. So this is um, really nice and moist, Perfect. and that's wonderful. can be served out of the slow cooker. And that just goes in. Yeah, I just eat it like that. Yeah. Great recipe. Thank you, Adriano.